For 12 years you have been asking, who is John Galt? This is John Galt this speaking. John Galt. I am the man who loves his life. We are on strike against the dogma that the pursuit of one's happiness is evil, against the doctrine that life is guilt. You damned man, but never dared to question your code. Now choose to perish or to learn that the anti-mind is the anti-life. Man has to be man. By choice, he has to hold his life as a value. He has to discover the values it requires and practice the virtues by choice. Centuries ago, the man who was the greatest of your philosophers stated the formula defining the concept of existence and the rule of all knowledge. A is A. A. This is your basic moral choice. Thinking or not thinking. Existence or non existence A or non-A. A is A. Reason, purpose, self-esteem. Rationality, independence, integrity, honesty, justice, productiveness, pride. In the name of a return to morality, you have sacrificed reason to faith. You have sacrificed wealth to need. You have sacrificed self-esteem to self-denial. You have sacrificed happiness to duty. Are you beginning to see who is John Gold? I am proud of my own value and of the fact that I wish to live. I wish to A live. is A. A is A. Why then do you shrink in horror from the sight of the world around you? It is your moral ideal brought into reality. A world without mind. They are taking you back to darker ages than any your history has known. Their purpose is to deprive you of the concept on which man's mind, his life and his culture depend. The concept of an objective reality. The world you desired can be won. It exists. It is real. It is possible. It's yours. But to win it requires your total dedication and a total break with the world of your past with the doctrine that man is a sacrificial animal who exists for the pleasure of others. Fight with the radiant certainty and absolute rectitude of knowing that yours is the morality of life. You will win when you are ready to pronounce the oath I have taken at the start of my battle. I swear by my life and my love of it that I will never live for the sake of another man nor ask another man to live for mine.